Hey everyone, how's it going? For today's fun video, I'm going to be showing you how to draw a zombie capybara surprise fold. So hope you follow along and enjoy this video today. Now to start off with our Halloween capybara surprise fold, let's begin by folding our paper. I'm going to start by lining up the corners and giving it a nice fold right down the middle. Next, I'm going to fold it one more time and give it another nice fold. Now when I open this up, I have these nice little guidelines that show me where I need to keep the inside of my drawing. And I like to turn my paper this way so I can go ahead and open it up. Now to start off with this, let's begin by drawing the top of our jack-o'-lantern. So I'm going to start right here and I'm going to make a nice big bump like this, or a big sad face. Then I'm going to make another bump that's just going to come up and down. And one more over here that's just going to come up and down. Then right here at the top, I'm going to draw a line that's going to come up with a curve. We're going to go over and then down. Now starting here, I'm going to draw a line that's going to come down and up. And then one over here, it's just going to go down and then up. Next we'll go ahead and just make a big smiley face shape right in the middle. Now I want to make this into a jack-o'-lantern. So I'm going to start here and I'm going to make a line that's just going to go up and then down with a triangle shape and I'll make a line across. I'll do the same thing over here. We're just going to go up and down with a triangle, make a line across, and then we'll add a little line inside of each one. I'm going to make a small triangle right in the middle for the nose, and then let's add a mouth. I'm just going to make a couple points that come across here in like a big zigzag. And then I'll do the same thing down here, just making a few more little points in like a zigzag. And I'll make a little line here and a little line over here. Next, we're going to open this up and draw the inside. Now, once I have this all opened up, I have two halves of my jack-o'-lantern. So I'm going to start right up here, and I'm going to begin by drawing a line that comes down on each side. And then I'm just going to connect it. I'll do the same thing here. I'm going to come up on each side. And then I'm just going to connect it across. Now, I want to make like a zombie capybara coming out of here. So I'm going to start right here, and I'm going to begin by making a circle for an eye. And then I'm going to draw a line that's just going to go down and then up here. I'll make a little sad face for the eyebrow. And then starting here, I'm going to draw a line that's going to come out, and I'm going to go down and up. I'm going to make another line that's going to go down and up, and we're just going to curve this down. I'm going to bring this line around. We'll come down and back here. And then I'm just going to bring this line up and another little line for the mouth. I'll make a little line that goes down and up in like a V-shape for the nose. And then I'm going to make a little line that comes down with a little curved line like this for the ear. 
but I'll make a little bump and we'll kind of curve around. Next, I'm going to bring this down and then I'm going to make a couple little bumps in here like this. And then we'll bring it down a little farther. Next, I'm going to bring this down. And then right here, I'm going to make a line that's going to come out. And I'm going to bring it down. I'm going to make one, two, and then three little bumps on it. And then I'm going to bring this back and down. I'll do the same thing over here. I'm just going to come up and down. And I'll make three little bumps on it. Then we just want to bring this back down. Now, starting here, I'm going to make a little bumpy line like this. Then I'm going to make another kind of little bumpy line like this with some little dots in it. Kind of make it look like he's missing some fur. I'm going to make a little wiggly line so it looks like he's drooling. And then I'll make a little line that comes down with some lines across for like some stitches. I'll make like a little hashtag mark here. And then another little line right here, with some more little stitches. And then I'm just going to make some little random candy kind of popping out of here just to add a little bit of extra detail. So I'll make like a little sucker over here. I'll make a few pieces of candy over here. I'll make like an oval. I'll make some kind of bumpy lines on the side here. I'll make like a round triangle shape over here for some candy corn. And I'll put another little candy corn over here. And there you go, there is your drawing of a little zombie capybara surprise fold. So when I have it all folded up, I've just got a little jack-o'-lantern, and then when I open it, I've got my zombie capybara popping out of there. And there you go. I'm going to fast forward and start coloring this. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed.